Hey, welcome back to Google Forms 10 Essential Tips. And tip number two, we're going to look at response settings. So to edit your response settings, you first want to select settings and then select responses. There's a drop down there and I'll show you a couple of things that you might want to be aware of. Number one is um, by default, uh, you'll see that collecting email addresses is set to verified. And this means that they will have to sign into Google in order to complete the form. And you, in many cases, you really don't want that. You don't want to limit um, someone's ability to fill out the survey. However, if you, if my my tip for you is if you if you want to make sure that person is exactly the person submitting and not an imposter, certainly, certainly select verified. You can have it not collect email addresses at all, or you can have responder input put in. All right. If you choose do not collect, you can always add a question that says add, you know, add your email address. But if you choose responder input or verified, it will put in a required email option. It will either ask them to sign into Google or they can just put in any email address, but it will ask for one as a required question. So we're going to set this to responder input because we're doing a fundraising survey. Maybe they don't use Gmail and we're not really that worried about whether or not we're verifying that person. The second thing is whether or not you want to send responders a copy of their responses. This is really great. Let's say that you're um, an administrator or a supervisor, you're sending out a survey to your staff about their um, professional goals for the quarter, maybe sales goals or, or professional development goals for teachers. And so you want them to get a copy of what they responded to. And if you have no reason not to provide it, you can always, uh, you can always add it. Um, but if you definitely are, are thinking, no, I don't want them to get a copy, just leave it off. But you do have that option so that they could they could either request a copy of their responses or you just automatically send it, okay? So I'm gonna set this to when requested. Um, allow response editing. This is really nice when you're, um, you, you might have a form survey about your goals, so you send it out to your staff. If you set this to the fact that they can um, edit it, they'll be able to click on the link at a later date and add the, the result of their goals. So what are your goals? And then at the end of that time period, go back and click on the link to finish completing the survey. So that's another great feature, allowing response editing. A uh, really important option here under response uh, responses and settings is whether or not you're going to restrict it to your domain. If you're using a Google Workspace account, not a personal Gmail, by default, this is set so that they're going to have to sign into the domain. So if they're part of a school or an organization and you want to survey the public, you're going to want to turn that off. So in this case, we do want it off because we're going to survey our whole community about whether or not they want to participate in our fundraising survey. And we don't want them to go to fill out the form and have it say, sign into our school or our company. It would, what? They won't be able to. So if you're doing something that's you want to restrict it to internal uh, only, you can go ahead and keep that on. Um, but if you want to open to the public, just make sure that you turn that off. That is like probably the number one thing that um, people do when they go to make public surveys. The, the first person that tries to fill it out says, I can't get in. So just make a note to make sure that that is turned off if it's a public survey. Limit to one response. Now, there are many times where you want to turn that on, right? So you're asking uh, for, for something for, for people to fill out a survey because you're trying to gauge public opinion. So you don't want the same person taking the survey over and over again. However, you want to keep this off right now because as part of this tutorial in tip number, I think nine, you're going to take your fundraising survey three or four times because we're going to use that data to do something with it later. So make sure you turn that off. However, um, after you test out your survey and you know that it works, remember to go back and turn that back on. Okay, so that's how you, that, that's how you want to um, take a look at responses. You want to think about how you want to collect the responses and you want to make sure this is set up. 
I like to include it as step number two, because I think it's a good idea to, to kind of like address that early on because you get excited or you run out of time after when you go to finish your survey and you may forget to go in and consider how you want to modify these options. So um, again, edit response settings, just go to settings and click on responses.